second category is biogonides drug is metformin this is a general structure uh, this is a structure of metformin mode of action is not clearly defined here metformin activate ampk ampk means amp activate protein kinase so metformin activate ampk which is responsible for increase insulin sensitivity decrease glucose blood glucose level decrease glucose production and increase glycogen storage next category is thiazolidine nion these are the structure of rosiglitazone and pioglitazone now mode of action of thio thiazolidine nion thiazolidine nion activate ppar gamma ppa ppar gamma means peroxisome proliferator activated receptor gamma which regulate the transcription of several insulin responsive genes so finally increase insulin sensitivity these drug act as a agonist upon binding to ppar gamma which regulate the transcription of wide variety of metabolic regulators these re regulator increase expression of number of genes involved in the regulation of glucose and lipid metabolism next category is maglutinide drugs are rapaglinides nitaglinides structure of nitaglinides and structure of rapaglinides maglutinide they bind to an atp dependent potassium channel on the cell membrane of pancreas beta cell in similar manner to sulfonyl ureas but have a weaker binding affinity last category is alpha glucosidase inhibitors so alpha glucosidase inhibitors the enzyme alpha glucosidase is present in the brush water of the small intestine and is responsible for cleaving dietary carbohydrate and facilitate their absorption in the body so glucosidase inhibitor inhibit of this alpha glucosidase enzyme here carbohydrate in the presence of alpha glucosidase is converted into sugar so alpha glucosidase inhibitor inhibit alpha glucosidase enzyme so inhibition of production of sugar these are the structure of alpha glucosidase inhibitors drugs synthesis of tolbutamide starting material is toluene now this toluene when react with chlorosulfonic acid we get para toluene sulfonyl chloride now this para toluene sulfonyl chloride undergo the reaction with ammonia ammonia group remove this chloride ion and attach here nh2 okay and form para toluene sulfonamide now this para toluene sulfonamide undergo the condensation reaction in the presence of ethyl chloro formate here this chlorine and one molecule of hydrogen
this chlorine and one hydrogen of one hydrogen from here so hcl is released and ethyl formate will join here and form and p toluene sulfonyl sulfonamide sulfonyl carbamate which react with butyl amine in the presence of ethylene glycol so finally we get tolbutamide यहाँ पर स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल आपका टॉलोइन है ये क्लोरोसल्फोनिक एसिड से रिएक्ट करके पैरा टॉलोइन सल्फोनाइल क्लोराइड बनाता है फिर यहाँ पर ये अमोनिया से रिएक्ट करेगा तो अमोनिया से यहाँ से एक हाइड्रोजन आइटम और ये सी एल रिलीज हो जाएगा एस सी एल और ये एन एच टू जाकर अटैच हो जाएगा यहाँ पर इस पोजिशन पर फिर ये रिएक्ट करेगा इथाइल क्लोरो फॉर्मेट से ठीक है तो यहाँ से एन से एक हाइड्रोजन आइटम और यहाँ से ये क्लोरीन रिलीज होगा एच और ये बाकी पूरा ग्रुप सी ओ ओ सी टू एच फाइव ये जाकर अटैच हो जाएगा एन से ठीक है फिर यहाँ पर ब्यूटाइल अमीन से रिएक्ट करेगा इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ इथाइलिन ग्लाइकोल ओके एंड Finally, we get tolbutamide. Thank you.